Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you some of my favorite art supplies that I like to use almost on a daily. If you're interested in seeing what these art supplies are, please keep watching. So, the first sketchbook that I'm going to show you today, I've actually shown before in one of my previous videos. And it's this Canson Mixed Media Sketchbook. Um, I really like this one because obviously it says they're mixed media and you can use with anything, you know, watercolor, markers, obviously colored pencils, anything you want. It's pretty thick, it's kind of textured, and I really like this. So the next one that I got not too long ago, actually, haven't had for that long, is this Strathmore marker paper, smooth surface, 24 sheets. This one, I love how smooth it is. I do a lot of um, illustrations that I color with marker, so I thought this would be something good to try. It's actually pretty smooth, it's pretty thick, and obviously since it is marker paper, it doesn't bleed through. So I really do like this one, I recommend it. And this one, honestly, the only reason why I bought it is because I was able to get this 50% off um, at Michael's. So, um... I took advantage of that sale. Now this one, you can't really tell right off the bat what it is because of this. And basically this is because I bought this sketchbook, obviously on its own, and then I bought this um, little glitter, glittery um, cloth type of material paper that they have at Michael's. Um, it's actually really nice. So I basically took off the cover it was like cut through here, like slit through each ring, and then you, you can basically take it off. And then obviously I measured the paper. I think they sell these in like about eight and a half by 11 um, paper sizes, and they sell them individually. So I bought one of these and then just measured it and cut it and glued it. So basically, um, honestly, I don't even remember. Uh, I know that it's Canson, it says here Canson, but I really don't remember what type of uh, sketchbook it is, but if you ask me, it looks just like a like a basic sketch paper, like basic sketchbook because the paper is pretty thin and it's smooth. And I think I think this is like just like a regular sketchbook. But yeah, I just thought that it would be a nice touch to to add this little glitter thing to it. Just make it a little more decorative, I guess, a little more appealing. The next sketchbook I'm going to show you, I've actually had this for a long time. This is one of the first sketchbooks that I've ever had, actually. So basically it's by Strathmore, um, sketch paper, fine tooth surface, and it has a hundred sheets for use with dry media, of course. Um, please excuse all these stickers, there's actually just random stickers that I decided to put on there. But yeah, so this is just, um, this is just regular sketch paper. It's pretty thin, so, um, I mean you probably could get away with using marker on it, but I wouldn't. It'll probably bleed through. But yeah, I really like this. It's pretty basic. Now the next one that I got is from Target. It's by their brand Up and Up, and it's heavyweight paint and marker pad. Now this one isn't actually intended for kids, but um, it was so cheap that I had to try it. Um, I I believe it was like two ninety nine or two dollars. I'm not sure, but it was pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, it has 40 sheets, um, 9 by 12 inches, and it's actually not that bad. It's pretty thick, pretty smooth. So far, it's been pretty good. So um, if you're looking for um, paper pads or sketch pads, and you're not really sure that you want to invest in like Strathmore or Canson or any of those brands right now, then try some of them that are aimed at kids because they're actually not that bad. Another one that I have that's also made for kids is this watercolor pad. Um, and it's actually pretty good. <laughs> this actually, I bought it at Michael's in the section where they have the Crayola, like all the kids art supplies for, I believe, $4.99. It has 40 sheets. This was actually really good water paper. It's actually really smooth. Well, not really smooth. It's kind of textured, but, you know, it's smoother than, you know, most watercolor paper. And it's really thick. 
So, so far, it hasn't disappointed. So this is another option that you have if you're looking into, if you're getting into watercoloring and stuff like that, um, this is a good start. You can try first, you know, with the kid supplies because it's cheaper. And then once you're ready, you can start investing in more expensive, um, you know, color pads. I mean, watercolor pads. So speaking of watercolors, I found these at Michael's as well by the brand Fine Touch. Well, the Fine Touch. And basically, they are really nice watercolors. I will do a separate video on these to do um, swatches of them and demonstration on how good they are. But so far, they're not too bad. So I'm just showing you that these are kind of my, like my favorite watercolors right now at the moment that I'm using. It has 24 tubes, it has all these shades, and obviously you can make more by mixing them. So I really do like this. Like I said, I will make a separate video on this on only watercolors. So the next few things that I will show you are basically just for drawing. Basically drawing, sketching, line art, things like that. I will talk about this in a separate video, but I do have a sticker shop. Um, and I, I like to use this to cut my stickers. So this is just uh, showing you a really good quality scissors. So yeah. Anyway, the first thing I'm gonna show you um, is my kneaded eraser. Now right now it looks all messed up and ugly. I know that, but it is my favorite eraser to use. I mean, some people I've seen that use it, um, that already has used it a lot. It kind of looks like a big blob, like a big ball, but mine is still kind of rectangular, which is how I bought it. But yeah, I know, it looks kind of nasty, but yeah, good eraser. The next thing I like to use for sketching is an HB pencil. This is just a basic sketching pencil. Um, it came in a set. I don't remember where I bought the set because I had it for a long time. But basically, if you're interested in using this, um, you can just buy any sketching set. The next thing I like to use for sketching is this clear point mechanical pencil. I've had this for a really long time. As you can see, the little clip thing broke off. But it's a really good mechanical pencil. I love the grip that it has. And then it has this for, you know, you click on this little button for the lead to come out. And then it has a little retractable eraser. And speaking of erasers, I like this one too. This one is by Pento. Pento Click Eraser ZE22. So basically you just retract it out. See that? And then you just go back in. It's very convenient. Now for watercolor, I love these Jane Davenport. Um, water brush pens. It has the bold and the fine. So basically you just fill these up with water and you use it for water coloring. Yeah, this one's already all kind of dirty, but it's clean. This one, as you can see, I haven't used it yet, but they're really nice. I like to use um different ones this I got it at Walmart actually it's by the brand pen and gear and it's basically just a fine tip black marker it's pretty basic but I love to use this for line art and it's cheap I think it was like two something for a pack of 10 with different colors but this is just the black one and then I like to use this one it's a little bit thinner it's by Faber Castell pit artist pen um, and it's water resistant, you know, all that good stuff. XS, I'm guessing it means extra small. I'm not sure, but it's really th thin. The thing is that I broke it. You can't see the black tip on there because it broke off. I guess I was 
pressing too hard or something when I was doing, but this is really good for line art. Then the last one is this um, Sakura Pigma Micron pen or marker. Uh, it says micro pigment ink for waterproof and fade proof fine lines, 0 0.45 millimeters. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So it's basically a pen. Um, but the color is like a, I don't know. It's like a brown red. Let me show you. Watch. So yeah, it's like a brown, red, maroon type of color. It's just really nice. I like to use this for line art as well when I want like a softer look. And last but not least, my Jelly Roll White Gel Pen by also by Sakura or Sakura. Uh, I guess this is a size 08. So I like to use this for highlighting and stuff like that. Overall, I will be using these to make an illustration soon post a video on it so if you're interested in that please like and subscribe